Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Save House Mod. All right, this is a mod where we can buy houses and hotels and also have custom save spots. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the requirements. Now, what we are going to need is Script Hook V scripthookv.net Lua plugin native UI map editor and save house mod all right now once you download all of these the links will be down in the description once you download all of them they will be in zip files so you will need a program that unzips zip files there is a 7-Zip and WinWar. Those are two free programs. Just Google them and download them, okay? Once you have all of these links downloaded, it should look something like this on my left-hand side. If you look on the left-hand side, I have Lua, Map Editor, Native UI, Save House Mod, Scripthook V, and Scripthookv.net, all right? And on the right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, all right, right here. Now what we want to do is create a folder named scripts in our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. If you look right here, I already have mine. If you don't have one, just create a new folder and name it scripts. Once you have that folder created, go ahead and open up that folder. Now inside, you won't have anything inside. Let me go ahead and erase these. All right, when you create your scripts folder, it's going to be completely empty, just like this right here. Now, let's go over to our downloads. All right, let's go ahead and start off with our Lua, actually. Okay, let's start off with our Lua. Open up the Lua, and as you can see, it has a folder that says scripts. Go ahead and open up that folder. All right, now we want to take all of these files right here all of the files I have highlighted I want to take all of these files drag and drop these into our scripts folder right here okay which look just like that all right now let's go ahead and go back to our downloads and let's open up map editor folder right here okay once you open up map editor folder, you will see another map editor folder and a bunch of files, okay? What we want to do is highlight all of these files except native UI, okay? So you want to take all of these files that I have highlighted except native UI. We're just going to take all the other files. Then we're going to drag and drop these files into our scripts folder. Just like that, all right? Now let's go back over to our downloads again and we are going to go down to the next folder which is native ui let's go ahead and click on native ui folder and inside native ui folder is one file you want to click on that one file drag and drop that file into our scripts folder just like that now once we have that all done we can go ahead and click on grant that photo 5 that will bring us back to our grant that photo 5 directory Let's go back over to our downloads and let's install, or actually, yeah, let's install Save House Mod. Open up Save House Mod folder and inside there's a scripts folder as well. Let's go ahead and open up that scripts folder. All right. Now, all of these will be going inside of our scripts folder. Let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder in our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And let's go back over to our downloads for safe house mod and inside there we had three folders we're gonna take those three folders we had highlighted and drag and drop those into our scripts folder just like that all right now let's go ahead and click grant that photo 5 which will bring us back to our grant that photo 5 directory let's go back to our downloads 
and the next one that we want to install let's go back up to Lua all right let's go look back up to the Lua folder open up your Lua folder and we want to grab the Lua ASI file it's the last file right here okay we're gonna drag and drop that last Lua file right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory just drag and drop just like that let's go back to our downloads go all the way down to script hook V all right let's open up that folder inside that folder will be another folder that says bin let's open up that folder now we're going to take the first file in the last file okay so you want to take these two files I have highlighted drag and drop these right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory just like so I already have it now let's go back to our downloads and go to our last folder which is script hook v.net all right let's open up that folder inside that folder we are going to grab the last three files right here we're going to drag and drop these files i have highlighted and place them right here in our grant that photo file directory all right now we have uh we have our Lua installed, we have our map editor installed, and we have our native UI, our safe, save house mod, and our script hook V, and the script hook V.net. Now, right here on the download page for save house mod, the um, creator mentions in the description, due to wardrobe's introduction in 0.08 in this version, new variable did frank move was added to mod options please open save house mod dot lua and scripts add-ins folder with notepad and change did frank move equals false to did frank move equals true if only this this is the very important part right here only if franklin only if franklin in your save has already moved from his aunt's house to Vinewood Hills Mansion. Okay, so we only have to do this part right now. If uh, you're playing on the save in your game, if Franklin had moved out of his auntie's house, then we're going to need to do what I'm finna show you right now. But if your character Franklin is still at his auntie's house on your save in your game, then you won't need to do this. Okay. All right, so for everybody else that Franklin has moved up out of his auntie's house, we are going to need to change did Frank move equals false to equals true. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this up right here. Let's scroll down and see where we can find him. And I think it is going to be...
Once you reach one of these uh, places on the map, you'll be greeted with a menu in the top left corner. It's going to um, allow you to uh, rent. It'll say USD $120 for one night. You can either rent a night there or you can rent the apartment for seven days. That's the next option. Or you can rent the apartment for 30 days. Okay. So you have um, apartments that you could go ahead and rent for one night, seven days, or 30 days. All right. let's see here what other places that we have and if you look close you could tell the ones that look like apartments they'll be shaped like this okay and then we have different ones like this one right here for example all right this one looks a little different let's go ahead and see what this one is all right now, if you look, as soon as we um, come close to the icon on the map, we are greeted with another menu in the top left corner. It's asking us if we want to spend a night, two days, or five days, okay? So this is another um, hotel, I believe it is. Let's go, oops, <laughs> my bad. Trying to exit out the menu. <laughs> All right. Let's go find another place on the map, shall we? Actually, this, uh, I seen one over... Nope, I didn't, huh? Okay. Let's go try this one right here. This is a house up here. Should be a house. Oh, we are on top. Alright, so once you reach um, once you reach the door close to the apartment, then you'll be greeted with the menu and give you the options also to uh, rent for one night, seven days, or thirty days. I'm gonna go ahead and s oh, this guy, you want some of me? Huh? Huh? Can't you see I'm doing a tutorial here, buddy? Okay. Anyway, what we're going to do is just rent one night for eighty-five dollars. It'll say, um, are you sure? You want to scroll down and click yes. There we go. Now it says rent it for one night. All right, and if you rent it, then um, it will give you an option to say one day's left and go inside. You can go ahead and click go inside. And you will be inside of uh, your new apartment. Now keep in mind this one is uh, that they have some cheap ones and they have expensive ones. So this of course is one of the cheap ones. Now if you get the expensive ones then you'll get the better interiors. All you do, all you do is walk towards the exit right here. And uh, you'll automatically just be teleported outside. And then once you buy one, once you purchase it for a day, a couple of days, or a month, you will see that you will have a um, dollar sign on top of the icon. Let's go ahead and uh, pick a different place. Um, let's pick this one that I was at. Yeah, let's do that one. All right. Now this one's expensive. It says, welcome to Banner Hotel and Spa. All right, it's 3,500 for one night. All right, we can rent room for two days and rent room for five days. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it for five days. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, we rent it and we spent $17,500 for five days to live here. And I think all we have to do is walk up to the door It should give us the option to go inside our apartment. There we go. All right. I guess you have to press zero on your uh, on your controller. There we go. And then we can select to go inside our new little spot. Once inside, you will see that some of the interiors already have people inside, which is kind of weird, but you know. 
I guess, you know, we, we're only, uh, oh, I, I guess we're only renting a room, you know what I mean? So we're going to be living with other people, <laughs> which is, you know, hey, it is what it is. This is, you know, makes it more realistic, I guess, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, in certain angles, um, it'll look like walls and stuff is missing. You just got to go ahead and get in first person mode. So everything is all, uh, wow, look at that dirty ass toilet, boy. Oh yeah, we, we are really living with other people in here. So I take it this is probably my bed right here. Yeah, yeah, this is my bed. All of them, they, they sleep on the couch. <laughs> oh look, we can press, uh, we can change outfits here. Press E to change outfit. All right, pressing E to change outfit. Are we back at my, uh, yeah, my and look, look like we back at, uh, our auntie house. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how that worked. I guess he has to figure that part out right there. Because I don't think we were supposed to end up at our auntie's house by going into the closet. <laughs> So we are back at the crib and everything with our uh, new roommates and everything. Uh, guess I'm gonna sit down and uh, chill out, get to know my new roommates. <laughs> so uh, while Franklin gets to know his roommates and everything, make sure that y'all smash that like button, definitely subscribe to the channel, and share the video. This is Games and Graphics, me and Franklin. We are out of here. Till next time, y'all. Ain't nothing but a punk. Please don't. Holy shit. Oh god, please. Don't, I'm begging you. Please have a family. What the fuck? God, no. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.